Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda and I love crafting, shopping, decor and makeovers. Thanks for tuning in. If you love dollhouses, I'm sure you've been enjoying this dollhouse DIY kit series. Um, I've done four parts so far, assembling and putting all the fixtures in. And we're on to part five today, where I'm going to do um, the customer's orders on the counter. Um, so there's lots of little cute bits to put together. So as you can see here, um, it's all very clearly explained in the manual. So you can see all the little steps of what you've got to do to fold um, and, and assemble all the pieces. So it's nice and easy to follow. So it's the, um, the, the items for the bar counter. So all I've got to do is cut them all out. This is the little laptop, super cute. Just um, a printable stuck over a piece of card. Um, I have actually made one of those for my dollhouse. It's a great little modern item for um, anywhere in a dollhouse, to be honest, you know, in an office or even in the living room or a bedroom. So that's easily made. Now on to the drink. So it did come with the plastic cup. And then I did have to cut up some paper to make the sort of um, the sprinkles on the top um, and the wire. And there was a little lid to go on top and then a little um, printable to go on the inside. But you know, it's so simply put together um, and, you know, just a nice little touch, really. It's the little details, I think, that makes these kits so much fun. So here's another drink. And again, that's basically just paper, printable, folded round with a little um, plastic top. So that's uh, one of the other cups. And then I had to put that onto a little tray. So that little um, pink tray did come already cut out. And then I just had to stick the doily and the flour cake and the teeny tiny little fork. I just glued that onto there. So that will go onto the counter for another customer to enjoy. So I am using my tweezers here because as you can see, it's very small. Um, and sometimes I do try to put things in my hand, but then I end up knocking, <laughs> knocking things over. So tweezers is definitely um, a good idea if you haven't got any. I, I just bought a pack of normal tweezers and I just use them for crafting. So there we have all the customers. Uh, so one of the customers is on their laptop with the drink and one of the other customers is having a cake and a coffee whilst reading a magazine. tick that off now in my instruction manual so all those little pieces have been made it's very satisfying when you can tick stuff off and that's that whole page done now and of course the customers need something to sit on to enjoy their items so here's all the pieces for the seating there's even this little piece of wood for you to um, wind the wire around to get the shape of the legs everything has been thought of in a kit um, so it is really a great, uh, a great way to do things to get good ideas for yourself. And then I've just followed all the pieces, put the stuffing in, covered it with the material. Even on the bottom of the base, it's got this uh, line so you know where to glue the, the legs to when you put them on. So it's super easy to follow. And um, they have just turned out really cute. Um, nice, comfy little chairs and um, in keeping with the pink theme that this shop has. So those are two super comfy chairs for those customers to enjoy.
so as I was taking the pictures of the view from the outside into the shop, I thought, oh, it sort of looks a little bit, you know, unfinished around the windows. Then I realised that the kit has actually thought about that and there are some textured pieces to be cut out um, to alleviate that problem that I just noticed. So this just goes on beautifully there um, and just covers up where the window was stuck on to the um, white wood frame and there's another piece for the side um, there isn't a piece for the where the counter is so but there was enough of it so i did decide just to cut um, a couple of rectangles just to put round the middle as well and that just covers up where the plastic window with the um, the, the logo um, was put on um, and that's beautiful. So these kits really do think of everything. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Uh, give me a like, drop me a comment, because I do love to hear from you. So, until next week, um, take care. Bye-bye.